Hello AWS friends. Welcome to this lesson about how to integrate code commit in your development environment and we're gonna do this hands-on with Eclipse and Visual Studio. For this lesson you should already have some knowledge on Eclipse or Visual Studio depending on what tool you prefer and also you should have the AWS command line on your machine and configured. This means you had at least once run the command um, AWS configure. For Eclipse you can install the AWS toolkit. Same for Visual Studio you find the links on how to install and how to set up the AWS toolkit for your Eclipse or your, for your Visual Studio in the resources section for this lesson. And once you have installed this AWS toolkit on Eclipse, you're going to be able to see this AWS Explorer in your Eclipse. You can enable or show these views for AWS by selecting the views and show view in the AWS toolkit folder or simply just open the perspective for AWS, AWS management and then you have the whole package of views. After installing your AWS toolkit, take a look in the preferences from Eclipse and you find this entry for the toolkit. And there's important to know, as you can see here on the first page, on the first tab for the global configuration, the AWS toolkit is so smart to read your AWS config and credentials files. And so you don't have to enter your profiles, your access keys and secrets here anymore. And you should see all of your profiles you have defined in your AWS folder. And this should work out of the box. If you have any problems here, you might have to enter it manually. But normally this toolkit plugin will read out the AWS folder. You can add another configuration quite easy if you have already configurations defined in your config and credential files. Just press this plus button, select a region and then you can switch on your profiles um, which are defined in your AWS folder and that's it. For now we don't need another configuration so let's remove this and let's have a closer look on the code commit page. You find some informations here on how to create Git credentials. We can skip this part because we already created these credentials in lesson two. Let's have a look in our identity and access management console. And by here we see the SSH key pair and our HTTPS user. And this user and its password should be defined here on this code commit page. Once you have cloned your projects, you can import them and open them in the project explorer and work with these projects as on any git project for example let's make a small change and commit these changes I'm going to push and we should be able to see our commit in the commit history of our repo. So this is the test repo. No, this is the repo from command line. And let's have a look in the commits. And here is my test commit from Eclipse. One more note on the Eclipse integration of the AWS Toolkit. Even it's a nice plugin. And as you can see, it has some more features, not only code commit, but it's not mandatory to work with um, code commit on Eclipse. You can also import code commit repos as normal Git repositories into Eclipse. 
Let's create a new code commit repo and import it with the git view on Eclipse. So let's switch back to our repositories. Let's create a new one. And let's add one file. So we are not just cloning an empty repository. I'm going to commit these changes here online on the web console and I have a new repository by now, Eclipse 2. And now let's import our new repo into Eclipse. I'm copying the HTTPS URL and I'm going to say add new repo. I'm going to select the master. Anyway, there's only one branch. I'm going to select a different directory. That's my directory where the other two repos are. And I'm going to say finish. And I have my new repo here. Let's import the project. And let's have a look in the project explorer and we have our new repo with our readme file. So far for Eclipse, let's have a look on Visual Studio. You can download the AWS toolkit for Visual Studio on this page here. And once you have installed it, you're going to see this AWS Explorer in your Visual Studio. It's a little bit different from the AWS toolkit in Eclipse. As you can see, you don't have code commit here as section. You have some of the same services like S3, Dynamo, but no code commit, but you have an integration of code commit in your Team Explorer. I have already cloned our first two repos here. So now let's try to clone our new Eclipse 2 repo. And by now we have to enter the credentials and you might remember <coughs> we find them in the IAM console with our user. So I'm going to enter them by now. And now let's clone this new repo here in Visual Studio. And by now I just wanted to refresh, but you can already see the new repo here in our Team Explorer. In the Team Explorer, you can also have a look on the repository settings. You can have a look on your branches. We can see we have our master branch, our remote branch. You can have a look in the changes and some other stuff. And for now, let's try to change our project and commit this to code commit. Let's make a small change on our readme file, which is the only file in our repo. Change from Visual Studio. Let's have a look in the Team Explorer in changes. I also add a git ignore file for the Visual Studio um, folder. And now we can add a commit message and commit all to code commit. This was the first step, the commit. Now let's use the sync function to push this to code commit. And as you can see, it was successfully pushed to the master. Let's have a look in our code commit repo. 
and refresh this commits page and now we can see we have this commit from Visual Studio. You have seen how to integrate code commit into Visual Studio. We have seen how to use the AWS Explorer and the Team Explorer. You have seen how to integrate the AWS toolkit into Eclipse and work with code commit. Thanks for listening and see you on the next lesson.